from Syria to Yemen, conflicts that conspire to conscript children, callously causing the catastrophic cessation of childhood like a caesarean section after the fact. Not caught from mother's womb, but ripped from mother's arms, taking her heartbeat with them, like some subconscious remnants of an umbilical cord refused to let go. How does a mother even motivate herself to survive, knowing only too well that her son will be killed and never return? Or kill another and return as dead emotionally as his adversaries are physically? How does she even know which one to pray for? Which one would be the kind of fate? How can I ask more of life when there are wars raging around this world? Wars where the ones most likely to die are the ones least likely to gain. Somalia to Sudan, Palestine to Ukraine. How can I ask more? As a boy, I sat upon the same pendulum that I rest upon now, where the view is always a benchmark for comparison. It's funny how much the view has changed, considering I swing from the same pivot point as I did then. I used to talk about silver spoons and misfortune. I would compare my life to those whose material values, material belongings held more value than my own. A young Oliver Twist, I begged for more. It's funny how we beg for more and we look to those who have plenty. Is it to save ourselves the shame of looking to those who have none? How dare I beg for more, knowing there are people who beg merely for some. Worse still, there are people who beg only for less. Less war, less pain, less heartache. Please, sir, can we just have less? To deal with the fear of heights, they say, don't look down. And that is fine advice for a climber. Climbing mountains or climbing the financial and social ladders that dominate the minds of many. Don't look down. But if you wish to appreciate the height at which you stand, if you wish to appreciate the beauty of the view, if you wish to understand the devastation of the fall, at some point, you must look down. How can I ask more of life when looking up shows me a summit that is a mere whisper away? And looking down shows me clouds. So high am I above the ground that I see not the depths of the valley. I can barely make out the base camp from which I'm climbing. And I didn't climb there. I was born there, saved by life from the calluses of the journey. How can I ask more of life when there are wars raging around this world? Wars where the ones most likely to die are the ones least likely to gain. Thank you. Thank you. Um, the, the second piece I will perform is from a project that I'm working on called Progression, and it is a positive hip-hop project to, to share a message about progression and growth. And this track is called Walk In. Started from the bottom, when the way and came back Trying to take my people with me on the same track Mothers out of flats, brothers out of trap Fathers out of jail, we need our kids back in the class From where the sun don't shine At least that's how it seems where the young boys die Just repping for their teams and the girls want chase after their baby father Who want live like dairy farmers making cream Poisonous post codes postpone the progress And boys with no hope and no dough will go get But one thing I can't understand and won't get Is how we expect progress with no sweat If you ain't gonna work, you ain't gonna win I was sitting on them curbs, let me tell you what I seen People with potential to achieve much more What the hell do you think I was reading my books for? Cause life's about lessons, life's about progression I'm just trying to tell my young enough the record But he wants them new creps for that long walk home Sometimes I think everything inside of him is cold like a cone I scream for his future, storm for my trooper Trying to conjure up the force cause we were born to be super On a meteoric rise, no fear for kryptonite Trying to be a Mr X or Dr Luther Leader from the sewer, 
Call me Master Splinter. Nights where the summer's always colder than the winter. Life will hit you hard. Life will leave you scarred. Life will leave you bruised, black and blue like you inter. See them doing better even though you're more gifted. I'm done fitting in, I'm trying to be the greatest misfit. They think we're the same cause our levels aren't that different. But I can see the way them people benefit from privilege and if they had to do it in my shoes, they'd never be this far. Wearing for seven days, see how weak they are. They're claiming they're getting busy, I'm telling you that they're dizzy. Either that or I'm drizzy, look how meek they are once I get charged up. Was on the low but got my bars up. Now this is Romeo must die and I am Jet Lee, but you can call me Hammer when I am sick. Cause I'm the one that they just can't touch. You can't touch this, don't even discuss this. Them boys are disgusting, my boys are disruptive. And I don't mean disruptive on some road hype. We're disrupting statistics and stereotypes, we can't fail. So you can snatch the boat up out the water, but don't tell us that we can't sail. We're getting wavy up in here, and if they want to slow us down, they need the navy up in here. We need a leader, somebody go get Bailey up in here. Yeah, preaching the positive, promoting prosperity is my prerogative. Just because you're coming from nothing don't mean that you ain't got a lot to give. So there's no quitting, you say they want you to fail, I'd be like, no kidding. But we can't wait for them to let you breathe, brother, get up off your knees, the time is now, let's go get it. I'm with some go-getters, made it through the cold weather wearing no sweater. I know that you've been struggling with your stress, and you think that it gets no better, but I know better. Uh, I'm with some grown folk, made it through the cold snow wearing no coat. At times you feel your back against the ropes, and you think that you've got no hope, but I know hope. Thank you. Thank you.